For those who don't know, my car journey has been absolutely all over the place. And yes, I've been gone off the channel for quite some time, but that has stayed the same. There have been a bunch of ups, quite a few downs, some that you guys have seen on camera and some that you haven't behind the scenes. But honestly, I find that somehow, by some miracle, we've been able to still trend upwards and still have fun with cars. Now believe me when I tell you there have been so many cars over the short span of years that I have really wanted to own and it's crazy to even fathom that today I actually own one of them. I encountered this car for the very first time about two years ago and the first time I drove it I fell in love. A car that has been in the back of my mind for the past two years is finally mine and I'm not here to do all this suspense stuff. I'm not here to hype you guys up. This thing is serious. So I'm gonna show you guys the car that is finally in my possession right now. This is my 2018 Golf R. Oh my gosh, it feels amazing to own this thing. And just take a look at just how good this car looks. Oh my gosh, I know it's dirty right now. It rained literally like three hours ago and I didn't have time to wash the car. But wow, this color, the wheels, everything. I love this specific car so, so much. So let's go ahead and do a quick rundown on my Golf R. So this one right here is a 2018. It is the Mark 7.5, meaning it's the facelift of that generation. For those who don't know, this is a performance hatchback, which is also super, super comfortable, and it has a bunch of potential to be a really fun car. Mine is in the beautiful lapis blue metallic, and this was the only color I wanted. I didn't want anything else this had to be my color. Blue is my favorite color and I think on the Golf R, it just fits so well. I feel like the Golf R just has to be blue. And I was super happy that I was able to find a good one and pick it up. We're gonna go over everything that's been done to the car exterior wise and in the next video you guys will see all the goodies that are underneath the hood and I'm telling you, this car's got it. So right off the bat, the most noticeable thing about this car has to be the wheels that are on it. These are not the stock wheels for the Golf R. They're actually some, I think these are from the Audi S4, but they look like they fit this car so, so well. They look like they come with this car from the factory. The fitment is perfect. It's still on the stock tire size. Um, and as you can see, it also has some really good tires, Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. So this thing definitely has the grip it needs to put down some serious power. And also this car is not the stock ride height. It's pretty low. In the front, this thing I think is the perfect height in the front. It is on lowering springs. Um, you know, I went underneath and checked. It does have lowering springs, but in the rear, I really wish this thing was a little bit lower. Overall, it still looks really good over stock. Now towards the back of the car, this thing actually has just a little Aerofab like high kick spoiler or something like that. Honestly, super subtle, but it just, it fits the, the theme of this car, which is, I think is daily. That's also a sleeper car. But as you can see, it's just a little extension, nothing too crazy. And we also have these things right here, which I don't know if these are stock or these are aftermarket, but I just love the look of that little high kick spoiler. And I think it still adds something to the rear that was definitely lacking before. Other than that, exterior wise, this thing is, is, is stock. That's, that's all that's on it. Even the exhaust, if you take a look, the exhaust is completely stock and super burnt out as well. Now, the interior of this car has to be one of my favorite things about it. So let me show you what we got going on inside here. So inside looks so, so nice for 2018. We got the full digital dash right there, a nice big screen with Apple CarPlay, and just beautiful leather bucket seats. I know they're not actual bucket seats, but I'm telling you these things bolster you in so, so well. So it's really good for some spirited driving. You even got the ambient lighting on the door jams and even on the door here, which you can't, you can't really see because it's, it's day. But the black headliner, which is super underrated, I had it on my Civic 2. And just the full leather interior, man, is, is something I miss. I had that in the Mazda 6, and uh, the cloth in the Civic Si was okay, but the leather interior is really where it's at. And of course, we can't forget the main feature of this car. This thing is a hatchback. 
we have a bunch of space you can really fit a lot in this right here and of course you can put the seats down and that will allow you to fit a lot more in this tiny little car i love the fact that it's a hatchback and also one thing that i really love about this car is that it actually has the p3 gauge which shows a bunch of different things like afr as you can see there you got also boost you even got coolant temp there are a bunch of different things that gauge can do and honestly it is such a really good mod because it really blends in with the entire car it's aftermarket yet it still looks like it was supposed to be on this car so super subtle yet super useful for a modified car i absolutely love the fact that it has this gauge so i'm sure a lot of you guys are probably asking why did i choose the golf r and when it comes down to it i think that this car is just one of the best all-around cars you can get on the market this thing's a hatchback it's super super practical but it's also on a really good performance platform so you can still have a lot of fun with it while just having a great daily driver as somebody who plans to own a lot of cars in the future especially multiple at once you need that good solid daily that still doesn't bore you every single day and i think that this this is it it has every creature comfort that i want and i cannot stress enough this car is so much fun so i actually forgot to mention the mileage of this car this thing only has 69,500 kilometers so i think i found a pretty decent one one with pretty low kilometers and uh, i definitely plan on keeping this for quite some time buying this car was definitely a risk because it didn't really have any service history at all for a car that's modified with no service history and multiple owners you basically don't know what's going on with this car at all i took the gamble and I've been having so much fun with it so far, fingers crossed, and uh, I hope it stays that way. I'm trying to think about anything that I'm forgetting to tell you guys about this car, but honestly, I don't know. I I'm so excited. There's a million things running through my mind right now. I'm really curious to see what you guys think about this car. I want to see if you guys love it as much as I do, but I'm looking at this thing right now, and I, I just can't get over it. I can't get over this car. I never saw myself driving one of these and you know my first car i wanted a mark 5 gti that was the one i was set on but unfortunately once my parents hopped in the car for the test drive they were not about it they're not about it they did not like how fast it was um and you know what that car isn't even that fast but uh you know i've always loved golfs even the mark 4 golf and the mark 4 jetta i loved those back in the day and it just feels surreal owning a 7.5 golf r man the top trim wow Now this car really means a lot to me because it's like a manifestation coming to life. I first drove this car two years ago and fell in love with it and honestly in the back of my mind I always said I wanted a Golf R but I just didn't really pursue one. And then the opportunity to get a new car came up and I just I couldn't say no to a Golf R. I had to get one. I feel like when most people get a car they have this full direction and full plan that they have for the car and honestly when it comes to this, to this one I just want to have fun with it. I just want to enjoy it. I don't want to force things with it. So even if I don't make this car the craziest golf art on YouTube, I just want something that you guys can see and relate to as somebody who just loves cars and wants to have fun with their car. And I think that this is just another really cool chapter in the car journey I was talking about earlier. I'm going to make a pretty bold statement right now for the price that I got this car for, for the year and the mileage and for the condition and what's been done to this car. I honestly think I had the best deal on the market. I definitely got the best Golf R on the market, period. So I'm driving back home right now and I honestly forgot to even mention this thing is a DSG. That's a really big point about why I got this car. I wanted a DSG Golf R specifically, and that's the automatic for those who don't know. Obviously, as a car guy, I love manual cars and driving them is really, really fun, but I really wanted to experience what a DSG transmission was like. I've heard so much about them and the potential when it comes to transmission tuning is something I definitely wanted to explore. This thing has been so much fun and honestly, super dailyable again, because I don't have three pedals. I don't gotta worry about a clutch. I'm just cruising, chilling, and uh, really enjoying in the car for what it is. So we've made it back home. As you can see, this thing is in the garage looking so, so good. Look at the lights, man. 
wow. Not only am I happy to have a new car to make content for you guys with, I'm also happy to just be back to YouTube in general. I know I've been gone for a minute. I get it, it's been over a year, but I'm back and I'm here to stay. We have some consistent content coming for you guys with the Golf R, tons of ideas and things that we can try. We're just gonna take it video by video and honestly, just truly enjoy this car and make some good content for you guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't hesitate to go down below and hit the like button. And of course, if you wanna see more coming soon, the next video is actually gonna be showing a bunch of the mods underneath the hood. So if you're interested in seeing that, hit the subscribe button down below so you do not miss it. It feels so good to be back to making videos, especially with a car that I feel checks every single box on my list. If you don't love this car as much as I do, I promise you, I'm gonna make sure you do. With that being said, Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. It's all about the mods on the Golf R. Honestly, I'm gonna be straight up. I don't even know the extent of what's been done to this car. The turbo. Oh my God. This car is addicting, man. This car is addicting. It has to be over 10K in mods. It has to be over 10K in mods. I don't see it being anything less. Here we go for the big reveal of what's underneath the hood. Oh my gosh.